Yo, what's good boys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize your Windows for gaming, for Valorant, for everything. As a disclaimer, I'm just gonna say it's just the most basic stuff that everybody has to do. There is obviously much more advanced stuff that I do not want to cover right now. I will maybe cover it in the future. Keep watching, guys. The timestamps are gonna be in the description. Follow along and have fun. Let's start with Windows updates. Let's, let's search updates. Let's f search for them. Let's update everything. They're gonna allow us to play the newest versions of, of games like Overwatch, like Modern Warfare and Fortnite. If you don't have the security updates or other updates, then it will probably crash. So let, let's just get them and let's restart your PC. Okay guys, if you updated everything, then just pause updates for 30 days. Okay guys, let's keep on moving. Let's go type mouse settings. Let's go there. And let's click additional mouse options. And then go to pointer options. And disable enhanced pointer precision. Apply, click OK. Then let's type power plan. Edit power plan. Go to power options. And then let's select high performance power plant. Click search, then type core isolation. Then you have memory integrity. Turn it off. Press yes. So let's start. Let's go to Google. Go type Windows the bloater. First link GitHub. Then go to Windows 10 the bloater PS1. Then click raw. Then click Ctrl and A. Copy it. Then click on Windows Search, type PowerShell, type PowerShell, run it as administrator, yes, and paste it, and click enter, then click yes, then click yes again, and then read the descriptions carefully. And then read the descriptions carefully and choose accordingly yes and install it and install and install onedrive unpin every unpin everything and then install dotnet and then reboot your pc Let's then go type background apps. Turn it off. Do not let them run it in the background. Let's then go to this PC folder. Then click on your C drive. Then click properties and click allow files on this drive to have context indexes in addition to file properties. Uncheck it, apply it. Click OK. Then click continue, ignore all. And let's just wait once we're doing it let's go and let's type microsoft store let's open it let's go to your profile app settings and disable app updates let's then go type game bar disable game bar then type game game mode turn it on then go to device manager let's then go from the bottom universe serial bus controllers click on every every USB root hub power management and then check allow the power to turn off this device to save power then, then Intel or MD depends on their PC every hub then let's go to system devices and let's then disable UM bus root UM bus root bus animator then disable system timer numeric da data processor then disable NDIS virtual network adapter animator then let's disable high precision event timer 
composite bus animator and let's go up software devices microsoft gs wavetable synth microsoft device association root animator then to software components you can disable everything here you can disable other devices then let's go to network adapters let's check what network adapter you have i have real tech let's go to mice go to power management and allow this device to wake the computer do it disable it and do the same thing with keyboards then let's go to disk drivers and let's go to policies enable write caching on the device the same thing on the other drive if you have one then let's install nvidia drivers so let's go to google let's type nv clean install download it from the first link run it okay and ma let's manually select the driver choose the latest version if you want to use shadow play just click on next yes yes next the x yes but i don't want to so let's go if you want to clip with GeForce Experience, click on Shadow Play, click Next, the yes, Next, the yes, and then Next. But I don't need it, so let I'll click Minimum, and I'll go Next. Then let's click Show Expert Tweaks. Let's then disable HDCP, enable Message Signal Interrupts, and disable NVIDIA HD Audio Device Slip Timer. Click Next, then install it. Once it's installed, let's go to NVIDIA Control Panel, use the Advanced 3D Image Settings, click Apply, let's go to Manage 3D Settings, Anisotrophic Filtering, Off, Gamma Correction, Off, Anti-Aliasing Mode, Off. Let's then, let's then scroll down the lower to Low Latency Mode, put on Ultra, then let's go down to power management mode. Let's put in a preferred maximum performance. You can change OpenGL GP rendering to your GPU. Let's then go preferred refresh rate as available. And then texture filtering from quality to high performance. And then Vertical sync, turn it off, click apply, then let's go to physics, let's go to NVIDIA GeForce RTX, or whatever card you have, let's then change your resolution, for me it's 144Hz, go type MS info, click on it, find base, baseboard product, Click on it, then copy it, Control and C, then go to Google, then paste it. Let's then click the first thing that you have, it's probably your motherboard website for me, it's MSI. MSI website, let's then go to support or something like that, then find drivers, select Windows 10, and then find LAN drivers, and click download save it install it let's click next install install to click finish and let's go again to device manager let's then go to network adapters right click on it properties advanced and then power management allow the computer to turn off this device to save power go to advanced disable eee disable energy efficient ethernet Disable green Ethernet. Disable disable power saving mode. And let's then go to wake on features. Disable them. VOL and shutdown link speed. Then speed and duplex. 
put on full speed. Let's click OK. Obviously, there is much more that we can do here, but I'm only co gonna cover the basics. Since everybody has a different network adapter, so I'm just gonna cover the basic things. Let's then go type PC. Let's right click on the blank space, click properties, then advanced system settings, then performance, and then click to just for the best performance, click smooth edges and show thumbnails. Click apply, okay. Let's close it. Now let's go type rec edit here. On the top you can paste different stuff i'm gonna link everything in the description i'm gonna paste it in the description just go ahead and copy it so let's go to the first thing change some network responsiveness settings so network throttling let's click on it and hold f until like we, we just want to put f eight times okay okay the system responsiveness and then type zero click OK. OK let's paste the next thing and then we have priority let's change priority to six and then we have scheduling category type H I G H high and then high again then paste the last thing and let's click on hibernate enabled default and let's then type zero here to disable hibernation let's close it let's then go to google and type outer runs let's go to the microsoft website let's download it let's then open outer runs And then I'm gonna let you know what you can turn off. Okay, so turn off any bloat where if you have Discord here, Spotify, whatever, you can turn that off. For me, it's gonna be Microsoft Edge, Microsoft OneDrive. You can turn off Alternate Shut. You can turn off Brave, run as administrator, turn off CMD. You'll probably have to run it as administrator, Brave. Microsoft Edge or any other then Microsoft security registration you can turn that off Microsoft OneDrive turn that off then Microsoft security client shell extension you can turn that off Then every OneDrive turn that off then Microsoft Edge then everything in task scheduler except for MSI Afterburner if you have it then services you can turn off Brave services Font Cache, Intel LMS, Microsoft Edge Net TC, Microsoft Edge, Net TCP do not turn off NVIDIA because your control panel won't work and for Windows Media Player Network you can turn it off as well do not touch drivers this is only for advanced users and that's gonna be it then go to task manager go to store it up Cortana disable everything here then go to apps so settings apps and let's uninstall everything that you don't need so let's go from the top 3D viewer, let's uninstall it. Let's uninstall feedback hub, groove music, mail and calendar, Microsoft OneDrive, health update tools, mixed reality, movies and TV, Office, OneNote, Pint 3D anything that you don't need so sticky notes casual games tips voice recorder weather xbox live everything that you don't need 
and then let's go to CMD, go type CMD, run it as administrator, and now we're gonna disable all the services, to paste it in the description, just copy and paste it. Okay, so let's just paste it. If you want me to cover more advanced services, per services for Windows 10, just let me know in the comments. I will make sure to cover it next time. Now I'm gonna show you some basic tweaks for your apps, like Spotify, go free, click the three dots here, view, hardware acceleration, turn it off, then click OK, restart Spotify, then let's go to your browser, go to your settings, whatever it is, go click search, go type hardware, acceleration, hardware or acceleration, just type one of the phrases and turn it off and continue running background apps when Brave is closed, turn it off as well, click relaunch. For Discord, go to your settings, then go to the bottom to game overlay, turn that shit off, then go to advanced, hardware acceleration, turn that off, restart your Discord. Then guys, I want to show you a cool tool, let's go to timerresolution.com com. Do not go to some other websites, you don't have to pay for it, it's a free tool. So let's download it, let's download it. Let's unzip it. Let's put it on your, on your desktop and you can use it every time before you play, just click maximum and let's then go into your game. These are all the things that are not advanced at all and we can obviously get much more FPS and much lower latency. These were all the basics that everybody has to do. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching. Hit me up on Twitter if you want to get your PC optimized by me. And see ya.